Hello and welcome to Megger's technical support videos, where today we will be discussing the three-phase turns ratio and winding resistance form 56,000 vector group detection. Once we have opened the three-phase winding resistance and turns ratio test form 56,000, we can scroll down to the nameplate section and on the right-hand side we have our vector diagram. Just to the left of it we have detect vector group. This is used if you know the winding configuration of your transformer, but you do not know the exact diagram number or the vector diagram. For instance, let's take a look. Say we have a delta primary, and we know we have a y secondary with a neutral. If we click y with a neutral, we can see we have six options to choose from. The y in 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So you know you have a Y with a neutral, but you don't know which of these six diagrams corresponds to the transformer that you're testing. And that's where the detect vector group comes in. <clears throat> so if we open the detect vector group function, you can see the first thing we see here is select neutral connection type. So do you have no neutrals, meaning you have a combination of all here? Is it on the high side? Notice that some of our options go away, primarily the deltas, and same with the low side. Now the deltas go away on the low side. Or if you have both, which makes the deltas go away on both the high and low side. In this example, where we have a delta on our primary and a Y with a neutral on the secondary, we would have a neutral connection only on our low side. So we know that we have a delta Y. Now you could also use this if you had a YY, a Y is zigzag, a delta zigzag, or a zigzag Y. So now that we know we have a, our neutral on our low side because you would have four bushings or four taps at that point coming off, and we know we have a delta Y. Now we can select detect and it'll perform a test going through the different configurations, as we can see here, DY1, DY3, and it'll perform these tests to determine which of these is the correct diagram for you. Once determined, it will tell you which is the result. So for instance, you can see the configuration would be a DYN11. So you can close out of this and click here and we know that we have a YN11. Now we will be prepared to test our transformer. Thank you for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos and tune into some of our other videos for more information.